Hi, welcome to the Gamesplainer. I'm Jeff the Gamesplainer and today I'm Gamesplaining Fuse. The game of Fuse is a 10 minute cooperative dice chucking game in which you're, everyone is sitting around the table with a couple of cards in front of them that represent bombs that need defusing and you roll dice and whatever shows on those dice needs to match the things on the cards in certain orders in order to be able to defuse the bomb. I really like this game. I probably shouldn't like this game but I really kind of do. Once again I've come back to this whole thing of dice rolling and, and what I get out of dice rolling or don't like it about dice rolling games because if you've watched any of my other videos you will have heard me uh, probably talking about the use of dice in the game and Games that roll dice to um, uh, resolve conflict, for example, I'm not a hugest fan of that, or definitely roll to move, I'm out. Um, but then there's games like uh, Roll for the Galaxy, which I really love, which are entirely dependent on the dice rolls. And a couple of weeks back I was talking about the difference between input dice rolling and output dice rolling. And I much prefer games that have that input dice rolling, so where you roll and then make your decisions off what's been rolled, rather than making decisions and doing stuff, then rolling to see if you can do it. Now, this is one of those games where you're rolling the entire game, and it, it it's it's kind of could be um, thought of as output randomness, because you're, you're rolling the dice, and if you don't roll the particular thing you need for your cards, you're not going to be able to do anything. In fact, you'll have things work against you if that's the case. Um, but I think when dice rolling is the entire game, and, and your ability to manipulate those dice rolls by your selections, suddenly I like the game again. So... This is a dice chucking game I really like. It runs for 10 minutes. Um, I very rarely have only one game of this in a session. Usually if I'm playing it, we'll play it and we'll lose and then we'll play it again and hopefully win. Uh, and if we win, we'll make it a bit harder and go again. The ben beauty of this game is that there's different levels of difficulty. So there's that comes down to the number of bombs or cards that you need to defuse in order to win the game. Uh, in the Games Blade video, I play with only 19 cards in that deck. It plays up to about 25 cards in the deck on the expert mode for one player. Um, and obviously more for more players. It's a one to four player game. It's put out by Renegade Game Studio, so I probably should have said that right at the outset. Uh, other games that Renegade have put out uh, include, um, what do we got? Resistance, we've got uh, Grifters, we've got Flashpoint. Uh, they're their main main titles, I guess. Coup is the other one. Sorry, that's the main titles that I've seen coming through from Renegade. They, oh, Lanterns is also one of them. They are really coming into their own this year. Um, they are, had just a few games to start with. Now they're really kind of punching them out and getting some good games coming through. Uh, in fact, Lucidity, which I did the Kickstarter video for a, f um, a few months back, that's just been announced in the last few weeks that, that Renegade's going to be uh, doing a commercial version of that. So, um, Renegade Game Studios are really hitting some goals this year, and this is one of their goals that I'm really liking. They've got a kind of a sequel to this game that's called Flatline, which I'm hoping to get a copy of fairly soon, and once I get that, I'll try and do a video for you as well so you can see what that's like, see what the difference is. Up. So in Fuse, what you're doing is trying to roll these dice and stack them or place them on particular points on the cards. Now the beauty of the game is, and this is where the co-op nature of it comes in, and this is something I wasn't able to do in the gameplay video when you watch it because it's just one player, but the co-op nature of this game is the dice are rolled, there's one die for each player at the table. Which die you can take uh, really depends on negotiation and you need to negotiate super fast because the entire game runs for 10 minutes, it runs on a timer, on an app. Um, on your phone that is just there. Renegade have started doing apps for most of their... Um, I don't know if you can, you can see that, but it's a 10 minute timer. You could just use a um, countdown stopwatch thing, but it's kind of more fun using the timer because there's a voice that uh, tells you off and berates you as you're playing the game. And there's also a little bit of eerie music ooh, kind of stuff going on in the background. So it gives creates a little bit of the mood that we want and that we like in this style of game. So the co-op nature of this game is in the negotiation of which dice you can take. So if there's four die rolled because there's four players at the table, each of you will have two a couple of dice that you could take, a couple of combinations you could take. You may be looking for a specific number, a specific colour, or a specific colour and number. And what I've developed over many of my playthroughs of this game with, with various groups is that if someone has needs one die just to finish a card off, we'll always give them that one die. Um, but other than that, there's this negotiation of I need this colour in order to go here. And that's the only one out of what's been rolled that I can take. But you also only need that colour. So one of us is going to take it, the other one is 
going to then leave a dice. So let's see what the other guys are doing to see what dice are going to be left to see um, because any dice that are left that are not put onto a card get rolled again and if that colour or number that gets rolled matches anything on one of your cards, you actually remove the die. So um, there's, there's this little to and throw and you've got to do these negotiations super fast because in essence, yeah, you might get the negotiation and get one card out, but if you're not rolling the dice enough times, you're not going to get through the entire deck before your 10 minute timer runs out. So there's, I, I, I really love the social negotiation nature of this particular game um, because it forces you just to, to work it out real quick. So um, that's Fuse. I hope that you get something out of my videos with this one. Please go on, watch the game gameplay as well as the game explanation. Get your hands on a copy, have a play of it, see what you think. And I hope that my videos help you get Fuse to the table. If you've got any comments or suggestions, please write them below. If you've got any games that you wish to be gamesplained, please shoot me an email at thegamesplainer at gmail.com. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at thegamesplainer to see what games I've been playing. Subscribe to my videos to keep up to date with the games that I'm gamesplaining. And until next time, enjoy gaming.